day at the end of a very hot day got up into the 90s and um, still very productive oh it's right it's a Gemini new moon today this morning actually but I just wanted to show you we have so this is facing south or we got some thunderheads that just cropped up in the last hour just um whew. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they just cropped up in the last hour and a lot of lightning. But it's south of us toward Weed and Mount Shasta. And according to the radar it looks like it'll it'll just skirt us to the south. And um Okay, hold still. There we go. And let's see, maybe I can turn this off. A little portable fan, which is very helpful. Um, but what time is it? That heat, though. Oh, well, it's only 7 721. Okay, so, um, gosh, look at just a little bit of sun that's been on my face and not on my arms and shoulders. Well, I always considered myself like variegated. But, um, anyway, it was, um, Oh, I don't think I mentioned it yesterday. I went to um, a county board meeting on, um, what do they call it? Adv no, not advocacy, advisory, county board advisory meeting on the homeless situation in, in, in this county here. And um, so fascinating because um, I got early. Uh, I was invited by a member, because this was a closed meeting. It wasn't open to the public. But um, uh, the couple that I'm working with um, who are helping me, um, just trying to get, how would I put it? just reestablishing myself with the community, you know, and community folks here. Um, and they've been very, very helpful, very, very much so. But anyway, he, he attends, because the particular church they have is to, is to, uh, their mission in the church is to, um, address the homeless and, and look for, um, create housing situations for people here. So, um, so again, like I said, they've kind of taken me under my wing, under their wing. And so I was invited to this meeting, which like I say, was a closed meeting. It's just for county people and different sort of service organizations, state and, and faith-based and city council and all of that and so it was um so the woman who came in and then sat next to me was the uh county supervisor and last september when i was working over in goodwill there she had a job opening for um administrative assistant and I can sit. I I researched her and the position and familiarized myself, and I realized at that time I just didn't feel confident or strong enough to be able to to um, you know even if I could even if I could 
promote myself, which I'm pretty good at in a very good way. If I got the job, I didn't feel like I was going to be ready yet at that time with my health and um, energy and you know, I'm still. So anyway, but it was fascinating. She sat right next to me. I didn't say, you know, that I I considered that position. Um, and I figured somebody else would be better. Would do a much better job than me in that position. And so, but I had a chance to, at that time, what I did was I kind of researched her and, you know, the different boards she's on and, in the function of her position and how it affects the county. And so, um, so that was interesting to sit next to her. But then I, I also met some um, people in the local tribal organizations here who, who work with their human services program to help people with, um, you know, chemical dependency mental health, homelessness, and everything. Made a nice connection with the people at the tribal. And, and I've been wanting to make a, make, a, make a good balanced connection with the local tribal organizations and to create an alliance, you know, by the way, so I can work together and support, support, um, because a lot of the Really, a lot of the tribal focuses are about community. Every organization have those who are in it for the greed, and then there are those who, who, who is a part of their culture and um, just their personal ethics. To want to bring balance back. To and to everybody, to nature, to all people, to all people, you know. So, um, <laughs> uh, ooh, that heat, something else. Um, so that was nice. I made a lot of, and, and then other other faith-based people, city council members, and everything, who who are extremely compassionate. And, you know, because most of the people up here, on the, most of the people here are not quote-unquote transients who come from other places. Most of the people up here are from this area, definitely Siskiyou County. I would say about 98% of the people up here and have their families here. So, so the people in government, the city council and everything, they have compassion because they see us all as community. You know, not just a problem or a scourge, you know, or a lot of places. Now, going head down toward Mount Shasta, there's a lot more people who who are the transient type, who, who travel, you know. And, and that's... That's, that's their nature, you know, but here, at least where I'm at right here, these are all um, community people who are living up here. So I feel very, again, very grateful I had the opportunity to be up here. Um, so, dang, Macho, the dogs are really something. Okay. Wow. Alrighty then. So, got a lot more people up here though. A lot of younger folks. Every day new faces I've never seen before. And, uh, it's a fluid, fluid situation. But, yeah, so I just wanted to it's very oh, in this Mercury new and that Mercury Gemini new moon um, 
there's a lot more clarity that I'm receiving in kind of the next evolution or the next steps of my destiny. Um, and a lot of stuff made a lot of sense to me actually throughout my whole life. Just how I ended up in these different cultures and living and working scenarios and everything has been preparing me for this time now and again i'm very grateful i'm here it's rough rough and tumble it really is it's the wild west it really is yet there's extraordinary potential you know, whether i put down some roots and work here or if this is, you know, everything that I've learned and discovered and hopefully can contribute that I have been here, can help contribute to the people who want to take this community forward in a, in a balanced and healing way through the changes we're going through. Um, we'll see. Or if I'm supposed to move on, you know, to someplace else to institute or implement all the things I've learned in all the different places I've been, and with the people who also share the same vision, you know, through, through destiny and our souls' agreement, want to do this work. So, so we'll see. But it was. You know, even in the midst of this heat, I think it got up to like 94 today. It's supposed to get up close to 100 tomorrow. And um, and then, of course, there's the, um, there's the, which they cropped up here. Oh, a little bit of rainbow. It's not going to show up, but there is a little bit of a, a rainbow. It might or might not. We'll see. A little bit of rainbow. And it's, it's facing directly in the, like, if you were to follow the rainbow all the way through, it would go right to Mount Shasta. Um, so, the, the mountain, the volcano. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so... We'll see what happens. But it was a, a, a going to that meeting yesterday and, and being included. Being included with people in the community who are in established mainstream leadership positions in the civic and faith-based um, functions of these, these towns in this county. It was nice to really to be included and be a part of I didn't say too much of anything other than introduce myself to a couple of folks afterwards and just affirm some of the things that they were saying you know and just say hey you know I'm up here on the hill and um, and just share a perspective from my perspective someone who's had professionally accomplished for decades um, and ended up being homeless and, and addressing, like I call it, the burgeoning face of homelessness, which is, you know, pro professional people near the end of the career who end up being cut off. And then, of course, um, the elderly as well, and retired folks. Um, so, so that was beautiful. That was really beautiful. And then today I had a chance to speak with, again, some um, other community people who, who work with uh, WorkSource and the Job Center and everything. And just kind of share what I experienced and how things are coming together. And it was, everybody was very, very encouraging. And it just, 
felt like the energies are. And yet at the same time, pacing myself, God, this heat, oh Jesus, you know. <laughs> And so pacing myself is going to be really, really important here. So. <laughs> the burgeoning thunderstorms just south here. Well, there is a, there is a rainbow. Uh, I hope it shows up. That rainbow is heading right toward, right toward Mount Shasta. Look. A little rainbow and then I don't want to get a picture but we got um, oh, hello. we got <laughs> gooseness also and a lot of those cumulus becoming cumulonimbus thunderhead clouds developing yeah, so just like two and a half hours ago, the skies were all blue. So it's just like, kind of like popcorn. So anyway, that's good. Oh, 16 and a half minutes. I rambled. So, it's good. All right. Oh, that priest feels so good. All right, sana, wai guru chi miguich, and mamuki.